Hello everyone, my name is Amar Hamad. I am an ambassador for the Studying Scoliosis Straight Foundation. I myself was a scoliosis patient. I was diagnosed with adolescent idiopathic scoliosis in 2016 and I received a spinal fusion surgery in 2021. Um, so I'm now almost two years post-op. I'm studying bio, uh, biology at Arizona State University with the hopes of pursuing dentistry in the future. Um, I'm now here with Dr. Mianji. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his research and what made him pursue that. But before we get started, would you mind telling me a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. Um, I'm Firoz Mianji. Um, I'm a pediatric spine surgeon. I work in Vancouver at the British Columbia Children's Hospital. Nice, nice. Um, so last year you presented an abstract titled uh, Major Complications Following Anterior Vertebral Body Tethering Surgery. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the abstract and why you decided to pursue that research? Sure. Um, so the abstract looked at 328 patients um, and this was a collective effort from a lot of centers around the world. Uh, they were all patients that had vertebral body tethering done and they had a minimum of two year follow up. And what we wanted to focus on were complications, either complications that required the patients to have another repeat surgery, and the reasons for that, uh, the timing around when that happened, and also complications that were reported, but they didn't require any further uh, procedures or, or uh, revision surgeries to be done. So um, the major highlights, what we found was uh, the complication rate was 22%. Um, and most often patients required another revision to a tethering procedure. They might have needed their tether released, removed, or replaced. Uh, and a very, very few number needed a conversion to a fusion. Um, and your second question was why we considered pursuing that. Well, VBT um, has been a uh, new technology, and I think with anything new, it's really important to look at success, but also reasons why things maybe didn't go as planned. Uh, so this was a really focused effort on looking at that um, so that we can improve our patient selection. We can look at timing of when these complications may occur so we know how long to follow them up. Uh, and overall just improve patient outcomes. That was the whole focus of the, of the abstract. Awesome. Um, and then how do you think the results from your investigation might improve care for future patients with scoliosis? Oh, great question. Um, well, number one is I think we can have um, results that are more generalizable. Like bit, until now, most of the studies that are coming out for VBT have been from, uh, say, a single surgeon at a single site. But because these were multiple sites around the world, uh, the results are more generalizable. Um, the other thing we've noticed is the complication rate in this study which had the largest number of patients is significantly lower than what's been reported uh, or what's previously reported in the literature. So it gives, um, you know, I think it gives a better way of discussing with patients what they may face when they're going in for VBT. Uh, and again, the timing. So it's important for us to know how long to follow these patients and what complications to look out for. Awesome. I love that. And then uh, one more question for you. What is your favorite part about being a pediatric um, orthopedic surgeon. Oh, wow. I would say it's the interactions with the families and patients. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you just can't beat that. So, I mean, I really enjoy it in the OR, but uh, I equally uh, enjoy the clinic and the, the, the patient interaction. Well, thank you so much for being here and presenting uh, to us about your research. It was very nice meeting you. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.